All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be installing um, a, P a new PCV valve on my N54. So here I have the um, Roy Beck, or you call it the RB PCV valve. And this one is different from the stock one because this one is aluminum, the stock one is plastic. And supposedly this limits the amount of oil you burn and it also limits the amount of oil you leak. And the um, stock one, the plastic one, supposedly isn't good. So that's why it's you have oil burn off and in case with my car, an oil leak every so often. So to get in with this install, the first step we're gonna wanna do is take off the cover. And the cover again is just T30 bolts, screws, two in the front and either one or two in the back. Okay, now after the cover is off, you're gonna wanna take off all of this up here. This is where the um, cabin filter is. But right now I just have the bottom piece because when I put in the cow filters, the water is coming to the engine. So I have to do the, this bottom plastic piece back in to lead the water up to the side. But if you still have the regular cabin filter, I'll leave the, um, the link to that video either in the video somewhere or down in the description or both but this you just take off take off these caps here and over there and there's two screws one here one here and I think they're eight millimeters okay now that we have everything disassembled that we need to get to the um, PCV valve which is right here you're gonna want to um, undo the fuel line which is here because you have to take off the PCV valve and the lining itself gets in the way but just a note to self um, my car has been cold for at least overnight. I let your car get cold, so at, at least like probably eight to 10 hours, don't drive it because you don't want any fuel or anything shooting out of here. So best recommendation is to make sure your engine's cold when you do this. So I'm gonna grab this wrench here. Here it's a 9 16th, and I'm just going to start to loosen right here. That's normal. Just a little bit of fuel. I'm gonna loosen over here. Now that I disconnected the fuel line completely from here, and then I also loosened it from the bottom piece here, but I didn't take it all the way off. I just loosened it enough to get me some wiggle room. Now the fuel line's back here out of the way. And I also unplugged my my line from my catch can hose just so I have extra room. All right, so now we're gonna um, take off the compartment that is holding a PCV valve. And that's using a 13 millimeter wrench. What I'm using here is a socketing wrench. And then I, now it's off. Trying to get my wrench off now. And this, see what I'm doing here? This is the main reason you want to take off the fuel line. Because this is tight, even with the fuel line off. All right, wrench is gone. Now we should have the housing for the PCV valve. Which is here. Don't drop it. Is that that's really nothing that's the cap and then here I'm sure you can see it is the PCV valve itself just pull that guy out there it is plastic got some oil on it like it should but now I'm gonna get rid of the plastic one for the aluminum one so here we have the stock plastic piece now here we have the new RB PCV valve which is aluminum and this is gonna be more restriction from oil leaks and oil lip burning. But before we put the new one in, we are going to want to take out one more O-ring, which is in here. Can't really show you, it just, you feel it right there. There's the O-ring, take that out, and then you're All right, so here we have like the, um, the cap, the O-ring that I took out from in the housing. You see that? No, it shot more. It just shot all over the place, look. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it, but the oil uh, gas is still squirting out of here. You can see it just all over the place. Now it's on my arm and my shirt, but whatever, off topic. But now we have the new PCV valve, 
the end cap and the o-ring that came out of the housing so we're just gonna want to take the o-ring slide it right back over the hap on the cap all the way to get to the end all right now after that you want to put the pcv in and if you come closely and look i have these four burrs one two three four now when you put in the pcv valve it doesn't allow it to go down all the way because as you see the burrs are all in the way so i'm just going to trim them down level so i can get this in Ooh, that's my skin. That's a shame. Okay. Thank you, Chris. All right, guys, when you're using the knife to cut, um, don't be a um, moron like me and cut yourself, because then you need to get have Chris get you a band-aid. Now I gotta put it on. Look at that. Just from being stupid. So this when you're cutting it, just be careful with the knife. Knives are sharp. And just take your time cutting and make sure everything is cut right and flush. All right, bandage back on. Let's continue cutting and cut away from your body. So where was I last? Right here. There you go, bandaid number two. Thanks again, all right, look, another cut. But this one's this one's a little special. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go. Disney princesses. That's better than me. I heard the Disney princess band-aids, they make your your wounds feel fast. Your, they make your wounds heal faster. This is freaking Jasmine from Aladdin, eh? Alright guys, after cutting it for the most part with um knife. Cutting the piece and myself, of course, not intentionally, but I'm giving sandpaper an attempt because I got the majority of the pieces off. Now I'm just gonna use like a really fine piece of sandpaper and just go across like this, just to kind of like round everything out and just make sure everything's flush, so the PCV valve fits in correctly. Your bandage is pretty manly, dude. Thanks, man. What could I say? But um, the sandpaper is definitely a safer way to go but you might need a knife to start it off because sandpaper, if you use it for the whole piece, it's gonna take you a while. All right guys, I'm gonna recommend it again. Sandpaper is definitely the way to go. Like right now, start off with something coarse. Like I have 150 here. And then go down to something really fine. I don't even know what this is. 1000, wow. All right, so I started off with like 150 and instead of quick jump to 1000, like it doesn't really matter how perfect it is, but now at the sanding, all done. The PCV valve fits. Flush like a toilet. Look at that. We're flush all around. Before with the um, burrings out, I mean the burrings still in, not cut. It sat like right about there. But now we're flush all around. So now I'm just gonna go and throw this back into the car. Okay, now that you're all assembled, PCV valve in the cap. And make sure you have the o-ring from in here back on the cap part so now i'm just gonna try to get in here and just throw the pcv valve right back in there tighten her up a bit all right now i'm gonna grab again the 13 millimeter just to tighten that up all the way and when you're tightening this back up remember this is plastic on plastic so don't be too rough on the tightening. Once you feel it get like tight enough, just like stop, because plastic on plastic could strip very easily. And I'm sure you don't want to strip this because like all other BMW parts, it's probably really expensive to fix. But let's see, a couple more quick rotations. All right, that looks good. That's all in. The PCV valve is in. Up next, we just have to reconnect the fuel line, and we also have to reconnect the hose that leads to the catch can. All right, guys, now that the PCV valve is in, everything's done, the fuel lines are back and everything, you just wanna throw this plastic piece back up with those two screws, one over there, one over there, if you have it, and also just, if you have the cabin filter set up still, just put that all back together. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. 
The stock PCV valve is out and the new one is in the car. Pretty basic procedure, just follow the steps as in the video. That's pretty much it, but once again, there's only one thing that you have to change from the stock, is you have to cut the, um, the burrings from the um, cap of the PCV valve. But besides that, it's pretty much easy. Just unscrew the fuel pump, unscrew the housing, and put the new PCV valve. But even though it's an easy process, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, drop a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, drop a sub too. It's, it helps out. But guys, that's it for the PCV valve video on the N54. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.